safe to say that Five Nights at Freddy's sister location teaser trailer took many people by surprise. For a game that's looking to release to public this fall, we have a long way to go before the release. With Scott opting to tease information on the latest installment of the FNAF franchise this early on, it's safe to assume this game has a lot of information we're still yet to properly understand. However, that's not to say this trailer offers nothing for us. Whilst on the surface it appears to be some hey, random trouble human limited information, can the same more than simply meets the eye by delving deeper and analysing frame by frame what exactly is happening? Many FNAF theorists have observed the same things and have adapted a careful eye for the smaller details from within Scott Cawthon's teaser trailers. It's worth considering that the trailer is incredibly condensed and the few shots we have to study show key things in the shadows once observed carefully. Similarity in the points raised is almost unavoidable. Link to the original the video idea shared may differ. And with that said, onto the video. Number 10. Ballora and her closed eyes. Something just isn't right about Ballora. For a start, she's a very intimidating animatronic, but that's not where this already building mystery begins. It's her eyes, or the lack of them in every single shot in this teaser trailer. Her eyelids remain completely closed in every shot we are shown. This could hint to numerous things and possible mechanics, but from what we know, her eyes must have a great pr property once opened, so perhaps one will eventually wish we never knew of. Number 9. Establishment or Facility from the first shot we get in the trailer showing our character descending deeper and deeper into the ground, it instantly raises questions as to whether this place is a new establishment under the Fazbear name or some kind of facility. We can see different things scattered around the lift as we descend, such as exposed pipes, technical buttons, a large fan which all portrays a sci-fi-esque feel. This doesn't really feel like the welcome you'd want to give people entering an establishment filled with child-friendly animatronics. The control room also looks highly sophisticated and very different. That's the scariest shot I've found. That's like the scariest The possibility place. could remain that we are in fact working another job role in this game, as we do in fact see the animatronics placed on pedestals and laid out in a presentable and stage-like fashion. Until we see more shots of the environment, we can only speculate. Number eight: future or the past. These animatronics past. appear past. clean, past. fresh out of the factory, pristine. Not to mention an advanced build to them showing more technologically advanced animatronics. So, could this be done in the past, or is this new game now looking to be placed in the future? We can again refer back to the shot showcasing what parts of the new location we see to understand that there is a lot of mechanical buttons, levers, etc. The old establishment went as far to give us a computer to check on the cameras, and a telephone with instructed guides from the phone guy. Now, with all of this new technology, it's slowly convincing more and more people to adapt the possibility of this being a set long after the happenings yeah. of the original FNAF dates the security guards worked. Number 7. Multiple rooms. Yeah. This comes from what we experienced in the introductory three shots of the new establishment. Scar has teased that new features will exist in FNAF sister location, and in particular, free roam seems to be something a lot of the community is highly requesting. A very large hint towards this being player controlled is how the camera pans similarly to the other shots when moving around the ventilation system. We can see the camera proceed to look up and left. He was most likely controlling the movement of the player's peripheral vision. Number 6. Voiced Animatronics From the FNAF World Update 2 ending, we already knew that the character Baby is going to have a voice. It was not very apparent if the rest of the characters will have voices. Until now. Yeah. During the ending of the Sister Location trailer, we can see a shot pushing into all of the characters moving around on stage. If we look carefully at their chests, we can notice a round speaker. Will the voices work as part of the game's mechanics to know what character is coming to kill us, or who we need to keep an eye on? Only time will tell. Number 5. The dialogue spoken by Baby. Throughout the trailer, we can hear whispers being spoken from what is presumed to be Baby. However, it is uncertain whether or not this is Baby speaking. Sentences such as, don't hold it against us, and you don't know what we've been through. As we already know, the animatronics were built in with a voice box, but this clearly shows that the suits aren't only haunted, but they have a sense of consciousness as well. We can only speculate they what these have. phrases mean, but it is apparent that the animatronics are not happy but about whatever has happened. Have one. Number four. Where are all the characters? As we all know, the roster of Scott Cawthon's created characters were leaked online, and we were introduced to seven new character names in total. However, this trailer only appears to show four characters. So, where are the other three? 
During the trailer, we are introduced to new gameplay mechanics. One shot shows we are in some kind of control room. In this room, we can see two dolls that have never been seen before. One being what looks like a monkey with a magic wand, like and the other boy. being a Pinocchio-esque doll. Could these two dolls Bro represent boy. miniature versions of the new animatronics? Scott has still not teased. Number three, Funtime Freddy, one or two characters. In the ending shot where we can see all the characters in their glory, we can notice Freddy has a puppet of Bonnie on his or her right arm. The gender is unspecified at this moment. Yeah, Will this triggered. hand Don't work as a separate gender. entity to Freddy? This could be Don't similar to the Freddles in Five Nights at Freddy's 4, where if you didn't keep an eye on them, you'd be jump scared by Freddy. However, this could also work in the same way Balloon Boy does, by disrupting certain mechanics in order for you to stay alive. Only time will tell. Number 2. Funtime Foxy and Mangle. I think it's Mangle. Are they the same character? Upon looking at Funtime Foxy, many would straight away draw a resemblance to Mangle from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. It is very hard at this point to know if Funtime Foxy was the original build of Mangle. Mm -hmm. We know the Mangles have two heads, whereas Funtime Foxy only has one. However, this Foxy also does not have a hook like the original Foxy, which points more towards resembling Mangle. At this point in time, it's pretty much a guessing game, but as far as we can tell, the Funtime series of characters were completely new and a new brand of animatronics, much like the toy animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Number 1. FNAF 4 Girl and Baby In the Night 3 minigame in Five Nights at Freddy's 4, we find ourselves in the Fredbear establishment. We can wander outside and talk to all the children who tease and bully the crying child for being a wimp. Amongst these children is a girl with orange hair with pigtails coming out each side of her head. head. If we look at the design of Baby, we can start to see a resemblance between the two. It is a long shot to think that Scott has designed Baby around the time Five Nights at Freddy's 4 was released, but the similarities between the two characters is uncanny. It makes you think of Scott drawing inspiration from this child when creating Baby. Want to see more content from us? Consider liking and subscribing. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. There's a. I hope you guys learn some stuff. I sure did. I'm doing a series with Beastly Boy 52 on our theories and stuff. So I'm not going to go into my theories on what's happening. And they have their own theories, I have my other theories. I don't agree with them on a lot of things, but then I agree with them on some things. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow with two more reaction videos. Peace.